Hello very good evening. Today I will show you how you can auto update your Windows 10 to Windows 11. Now this is something that I have been asking a lot and it's a very simple and easy to follow process in which you can very easily let Windows automatically update your Windows 10 to Windows 11 without you even having to do anything else. So just sit back, relax and let the Windows update handle your own system and update it to Windows 11 if you still haven't done so. So in this basically small short video, we will show you how you can use the Windows Auto Update feature to update Windows 10 to Windows 11. If you're here for the first time, subscribe to this Windows Tech channel as we will be posting Windows tips and tricks regularly for your convenience and let us know if anything problem you're having, we'll try to help you out. Let's begin. Now, once you start your Windows, you need to go into your settings. So Windows, start, boot up your Windows 10, go inside your Windows, start menu click on the start button or just click on this windows icon and you will see this settings tab here so click on the settings tab once you click on the setting tabs now you will be presented with windows settings menu on the settings menu you need to go into update and security option so once you click on that basically this is where we need to go and allow windows to update our system so once we do that windows update panel will open as soon as this Windows panel happens, you would see that Windows 11 Insider Preview program is automatically running. If it is not running, you can click on the Check Update uh, or Update History panel or Update My Windows button should appear here. You click on that and it will go and update your Windows automatically. And if your system is compatible and your system allows its auto updates as I did done here, you would be able to download Windows 11 automatically. Now here you have to do nothing. By default, every Windows system, every Windows 10 systems are being updated automatically by Windows. Okay. If your update has yet not occurred, you just need to come here, make sure your updates are available. Just click on the update button. As I said, I have up, uh, enabled it, but if you disable it, you would be getting a button here. Check for updates. Click on the check for update button. It will go and check. So let Windows update you. It will automatically do it and once the update is done, it will install it or like a regular Windows. So when the download and installation is complete, you might be prompted to choose how you want to finish the installation. You can delay the installation or pick a suitable time or click restart to complete it immediately. That's completely up to you. So once the installation is done, installation will restart you a couple of times. If you are on the most recent builds, the installation should be very fast. When complete, Windows will go through its configuration phase, then boot to the desktop. So be patient with this, let Windows do it. When you upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11, unlike previous versions, much of the configuration work is performed here. You won't see any OOB screens. Okay, you can start checking out what's new in Windows latest build. That's it, as, as it goes. Okay, so once installation is done, here you are, your installation is all complete. It is as simple as it gets as long as you allow windows to update your system automatically and just go inside settings and do it i hope this explains the process let me know comments if you're still having a problem or you are not getting this option and i will try to help you out in that matter thank you for watching and if you're here for the first time please do subscribe as we would be posting regularly about windows about various different tips and tricks about windows how you upgrade and how you can optimize your windows in very different ways thank you for watching